Hello and welcome to Ditsy. Today we've got this fantastic Play-Doh sweet shop set. It's the ice cream sundae car. We've got some Play-Doh plus there. Got some fantastic little ice cream making set here. So let's have a look. Quite a few pieces in this set. There's a very happy chappy on the back there. Look, we can make ice lollies as well. There's a little ice cream sundae bowl. Yeah, this looks really good. I can't wait to get this one open. Oh, and there's an extruder as well. So we'll do some nice toppings. So let's see what's inside. Okay, let's just open it up. So there's our ice cream car looking good. And we've got one, two, three. Three pots of Play-Doh in this. There's one Play-Doh Plus by the looks of it. So I'll have a closer look at those in a moment. They look all like they're special ones, those ones. And here's our ice cream car. So let's pull this out. Oh, this looks great. There are so many different moulds on this. Look, there's little stars and hearts and croissants, look. Strawberries. There's even a pretzel mould. And they're all the way over the other side as well. That's fantastic. Oh, a little teddy bear. That looks great. Oh, there's more on the top there by the looks of it. That's brilliant. So let's see, what else have we got in here then? What tools have we got? Oh, we've got quite a bag of goodies here. Let's have a look. Nice and colourful. Let's open the bag and see what's in there. I can see an extruder there. Fantastic. So we can use that with our Play-Doh Plus. And what have we got here? Oh, a little mould. Ah, this is for our ice lolly or popsicles, you might say. Nice little mould for that. And what's this piece? There we go. Oh, that's good. That looks like it might go on top. So. And there's another piece for the cart there, I think. That might go on the end and be a good little rolling pin, I think, too. Oh, look. The ice cream sundae bowl. That looks lovely. What have we got here? Oh, it's a nice lolly stick. And, oh, a little ice cream scoop. That's really cool. With a little hole on it on the top so we can just push the little scoop out once we've done it. And a lovely little spoon for our little ice cream sundae. What else have we got in here? Oh, a blue ice lolly stick. Really nice. I like that. And, oh, two lovely cute little ice cream cones as well. They look great. So let's have a look. Let's have a look what we've got here. So all the little moulds all the way around. And there's our little piece. Yeah, let's see if it does go on the top. I think it does. There we go. There's that shape on there. Yeah, look. That slots in there nicely. There we go. That looks very cool. I like that. There we go. So there's our cart. Let's have a look at this Play-Doh then. What have we got in here? Can we just open up the bag? Right, so I see we've got some Play-Doh Plus there on top and it's white, which is really good actually because it can be could be like whipped cream on top if we use the extruder and it could also be like whippy ice cream couldn't it there we go so it's our play-doh plus so it's slightly finer so it's really good for using the, in the extruders much easier than normal play-doh so that's great so what else have we got we've got oh it looks like we've got two different colors here we've got a lovely minty green and we've got like almost a cherry kind of pinky purple and if you notice, there's some little bits in these. So it looks like uh, mint choc chip and maybe some choc chip fruity berry kind of flavour. So that looks great. So it's a nice little special ice cream set Play-Doh. I like that. So let's have a look at these moulds now. What can we make? So I'm going to use some of my Play-Doh that we've got in our little set behind here. It's all our favourite colours of Play-Doh. So we're going to use our bright pink from one of our normal pots, and that makes a lovely little sweetie. There are so many cool moulds on this. I just want to make all of them. <laughs> Cover the ice creams in all of them. Let's try some different colours, shall we? Let's make lots of different colours. There's a little strawberry. Make a little red one. There we go. Oh, that's sweet. I like that. It's a little flower. That's very pretty. Mm, use this orange, a quite dark orange. It'll be nice, nice for pastries. So we've got 
a little pretzel shape down there so let's try it for that and see what that looks like what do you think oh i like that little pretzel and it looks like there's all kinds there's croissant and there's little like french bread stick there i think and a waffle i can see a waffle one these look great I love these because I think you can make you can make any number of little exciting like pudding dishes with this. You can make a little plate with fruit on and a little croissant that would be really nice. Oh, there's a little house, this one. Oh, cute, I like that. Try some nice bright yellow now. Have a little yellow teddy bear. Oh, look at him. He's sweet. What else have we got? Some lovely little flan case shape, that is. Looks like a little cake. See, there's a couple more little moulds on top. There's a little butterfly. And it looks like a little star. Oh it's, a, oh, it's a gingerbread man. Look at that. Tiny little gingerbread man. That's so sweet. There we go. And a little butterfly as well. That's very sweet. There we go. That's some very pretty decorations on our ice cream. There we go. So these are all the different things we've been able to make. Look, there's everything from stars and strawberries and little sweet shapes and little pastry shapes and houses and random things like teddy bears and things. That's great. So let's take a look now. Let's try out our special chocolate chip Play-Doh here. This is a lovely pinky purple one, like a mixed berry one, that looks lovely. There we go. So we could pop it out, or maybe let's just use our scoop straight out of the actual pot, just like real ice cream, so there we go. Use our lovely scoop, see if we can make a nice kind of ice cream scoop shape with it. So just like you get an ice cream shop. There we go. Now, let's put it in our little ice cream sundae pot. There we go, a little bowl. And just push through a little hole at the top like that, then it pops up. There we go, just shape it a little bit. That's come out a really nice shape, actually, without having to do much. Okay, just shape the top so it's kind of like a little ball of ice cream. A nice scoop. There we go, a little bit pop through the top. We'll just take that off. So it's nice and smooth on top. Perfect. And now we'll just pop that on the top. And again, use a little hole to poke it through. Oh, that looks really cool. That looks just like ice cream. I like it. So, do you think we need one more? Yeah, I think we need one more. Let's go for another one. Triple scoop sundae. This is going to be good. There we go. So, there we go. It smooshed up this one so we'll just shape it into the shape we want. There we go, take off a little bit of excess, let's pop through. And then stick that under there, I think. Lovely, so let's pop that on top. This is gonna be a good one. Oh look at that. Oh I love the look of that. It really looks like ice cream is played out. It's great. It's really scrummy, doesn't it? Oh, very nice. We'll just touch it up a little bit. Can we smooth it down a little bit? Let's put a strawberry on it. There we go. Yeah, lovely. I really like that. God, what else can we can put on? A little sweetie. That looks great. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. So I wonder what else we can make. So let's have a look at our minty choc chip ice cream play-doh. This looks great too. 
What should we make out of this one? Oh, that looks so good, doesn't it? That looks brilliant. So let's use our scoop again. And I think we should put it in this lovely little ice cream cone. Isn't it cute? The lovely little pink one. There we go. We'll shape it. Nice big scoop, this one. There we go. Flatten the top a bit. Nice little ball shape. There we go. And then we'll just pop it in there. Poke it through the little hole on the top of the scoop. Ta-da! Look at that! So that's a lovely little one scoop cone. Nah, what do you think? One scoop enough? Nah, let's have another scoop. There we go, this is great because there's loads in here. It's got a nice little size pot. So we can get several scoops out of it. There we go, take that bit off there. go and go get it to release from the mold again there we go oh that looks good it looks just like the ice creams you see in cartoons and things isn't it all stacked up I love it let's see how many we can fit on can we get another one on top what do you think let's get loads out of there there we go go shape it into a nice ball again What do you think? Does that look good? Let's try and stick it on top. There! Perfect! Oh, that looks so cool! That's amazing! Right, what do you think we should decorate it with? Let's have a look. Oh, look, little Play-Doh logo on the side. You can see like the waffling on the cone at the bottom. That's really pretty! There we go. Oh, a little heart on top, like a little sweetie. That is lovely. The bright pink looks really good with a minty green, don't you think? Let me put more. Oh, another little sweetie. More pink ones on there. I love it. I think that looks great. What else have we got? Oh, little flower sweetie at the bottom. That looks really cool. I like that. So let's put this to one side for a minute. What else can we do? What do you think? I think we should have a go with one more ice cream cone. And our extruder. And our Play-Doh Plus. Now, you could definitely use this to put like a whip of cream on the top of one of your sundaes or your ice creams, I think. But I'm going to give a go at making a little whippy ice cream in a cone. What do you think? Maybe we could make a little flake as well. So I love having whippy ice cream. I think it's brilliant. We call them a 99 over here in the UK. There we go. So let's pop Play-Doh Plus in the extruder. A bit more so much we can get in there. So what a nice big ice cream. That'd be fantastic. There we go. Get as much as we can in there. All right then. We'll start at the bottom of the cone and see how much we can fill up. It's just like the whippy machine to go round and round. Oh, it looks just like whippy ice cream. That's so cool. I think we need some more Play-Doh Plus. There we go. Bring that bit back in. Hold it steady at the bottom there a minute while we put some more in. There we go, there's the rest of our Play-Doh Plus. I think that much will do. What do you reckon? There we go, let's pipe it some more. Oh, that looks brilliant, doesn't it? How oh, cool! And just twist it off there at the top. Looks just like ice cream. <laughs> Yummy. Go. 
Now, let's just use this last little bit we've got. What do you reckon? Make it a bit bigger. Look at that. That's better, isn't it? Big whippy ice cream. Yay! That looks cool. Now, what can we add to this? I think one of these. No, maybe that one. I think that's going to look just like a flake. Oh, look at that. It's a whippy ice cream. We can have a little teddy jelly sweet, I reckon, on the side. Yummy. So what's your favourite ice cream? Now let's take a look at our ice lolly mould. This looks very cool. So we've got a little pink popsicle stick or ice lolly stick. So we just lay that in there with the play-doh and then we can make a nice little ice lolly. So let's give it a go, shall we? So I'm going to pick some of this nice bright pink play-doh. I think I'm going to just use half of pink, like that, to make it kind of the same sort of shape, maybe smooth it down quite a lot, and then I'm going to put, I'm going to put some white on top. work the play-doh a little bit so it's going to be nice and smooth and then stick it on top of the pink bit and smooth it down as much as possible so it's a nice join so I've got a bit more on there than I need and then I can just lay it gently into the mold and then when I push it in and shut the other half all the bits we don't need will squish right out and they just come off, isn't that great? Brilliant. So get a nice squeeze, so it all holds together. Oh, look at that, that's really cool. Oh, I think I had a bit too much on that side, maybe less on the, the middle crease there. Otherwise it folds over. But look at that, oh, isn't that cool? It's got that traditional ice lolly shape, I love it. That's so cool. We could do that in all different colours, couldn't we? Different stripy colours, and maybe use the ice cream play-doh to make one. That's really cool, I like that. So let's use the extruder, last little bit of play-doh plus in there. Let's put a bit of whipped cream on top of our sundae. There we go. Oh, <laughs> we lost our decoration. Popping back on. There we go. Oh, that looks fab. I like that. Brilliant, there's our little spoon. How cool. So how does this all fit in then? I can see there's lots of little bits where we can put stuff. There's a little square on the bottom of a little ice cream sundae bowl. So there, there's a little square in there. So if we put that in there, it doesn't quite fit with the spoon, but on its own it fits really nicely. So I can display our little ice cream. And there's a little shape where we can put our cones up there. And we can put another one there, although I think that little gap's meant for the extruder, but we'll put the ice cream up there for now. And there we go, there's two little spots for our little Play-Doh pots. This is a great little cart actually, I love this because you can put it all out to, to look at. Nice display. And there's our little lolly, well we'll come back for him later, shall we? There we go, and there's our little, what could be used as a rolling pin if you want to roll anything out. And that goes as a nice little handle on the cart. Doesn't that look smashing? I think it's great. I'm going to wheel it along. So I go, wee doo 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 brilliant oh I do like that lolly right let's just tidy away the extruder put that away yeah Ooh, ice cream oh la la ah uh, ah uh, ah uh. 
Oh, boys, what are you doing? Uh-oh. Yeah, Dabo. Leave it alone. Off you go, boys. <laughs> Good grief. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. It's a really nice little set. I loved playing with this, and I hope you will too. Which is your favourite ice cream? And who's your favourite minion? Let us know by leaving a comment below. We'd love to see you back. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for all our new videos. They are added every week. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye for now. Hey cheeky minions. Go on, you can have one then.